Hi everybody, my name is Troy Hawes. Welcome to another edition of My Acoustic Lounge. Today's guitar tutorial and cover is a song called Small Town. It was written and performed by John Mellencamp. Small Town was released in November 1985 and was one of many top 10 hits off of his Scarecrow album. This song peaked at number 6 on the Billboard Hot 100. Let's take a few minutes now and look at the chords and the chord progression to this great song. Okay, so for this song we have four very, very easy chords to review. Let's have a look at them now. First chord, G major. There's a D chord. A C add 9. And an A minor. Let's look again. G chord, a D, a C add 9, and an A minor. That's it. Those four chords for the entire song. Let's take a few minutes now and look at the chord progression and a little bit of strumming. Okay, so for the purposes of my cover today, I'm going to use a capo on the 4th fret. Keep that in mind if you want to play along with me. Uh, and in fact, if you want to play along with the album version itself, um, using the same chord uh, progression that I'm about to show you, and the capo on the 4th fret, you, you can do that as well. Um, now, there's a lot going on in this particular song with a couple of guitars. It's very, very hard to copy it exactly the same as he does uh, on his version uh, because of all these little nuances that are going on. The four chords that we've reviewed are really the bulk of the song. And if you've got that down, as well as the chord progression, you'll do all right with, uh, with covering this song. Um, I'm going to review the verse, and I'm also going to review the bridge with you, because uh, the bridge is slightly different, and um, you should have a closer look at that as well. Um, in addition, I'll, I'll show you a couple of the little nuances that he uses to kind of help identify the song a little, bit, uh, a little bit more. Let's start on the G major chord. I'll try to slow it down as best we can. Here we go. G major. G major to the D to the C add 9 to the A minor and that's really it that's really it let's have a closer look at a couple of these little nuances uh, that I use uh, uh, specifically on the D chord let's have a look Okay, these little nuances that I was referring to a little bit earlier. Like I said, this song is full of them, uh, but I even incorporate one into the song itself that certainly makes it a little bit more recognizable, um, although it does take some practice. I'm going to show you now. Um, not to throw you off, but there is actually a fifth chord that I use in this particular song uh, that kind of relates to the D chord. It's actually called a D sus4. Now, when you're playing the chord uh, progression, it sounds like this. You hear that in the D? I go back and forth from a D chord to the D sus4. Let's play it for you quickly so you can kind of hear. Here we go. That's one of the many, many little things that he does in the song that kind of add a little bit of flavor to the song. Um, I also do, uh, do that uh, a, uh, D sus4 after the A minor. That's just one of the many things, as I've mentioned, that he does. 
Now, if you're a beginner, that's very, very difficult to do. You can certainly practice that a few times. If you're a little bit more advanced player uh, and you're familiar with that chord in the in the D sus four, then add it in where you can. It's uh, it's it's fun to play if you can get it down. All right, let's take a couple minutes now and look at that bridge that I was referring to. Okay, the bridge incorporates three out of those four bulk chords that I was referring to. Uh, and I also use that D sus4, just a slight little touch of that, uh, that chord as well in the bridge. Let's have a look at it, slow it down as best we can for you so you can catch on easy enough. Starts on the C add 9, here we go. C add 9 to the G, to the C add 9 to the G, to the C add 9 to the G, to the D, and sus4. Be myself, yeah, in a small town. People let me be just what I want to be. That's really it. That's, that's that bridge in a nutshell right there. As we play through the video, you'll have an understanding uh, of how it plays out. And uh, with a little bit of practice, you can get it right down. Okay, so now we're going to mic it up. I'm going to use a great backbeat from my Beat Buddy by Singular Sound. Practice that a few times and be ready to join me.
And there you have it, Small Town, written and performed by the one and only John Mellencamp. Uh, certainly one of my favorite artists. Uh, once again, we will review uh, another John Mellencamp song in the future. Thanks for tuning in to my Acoustic Lounge. My name is Troy Hawes. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button. I truly, truly appreciate that. Till the next time, keep playing. Music is good for the soul.